Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to work with custom prefabs in Rust Edit. I'll first show you how to use the ones that you can download from the internet or wherever you get them from. And then I'll show you how to make your own custom prefabs so you can then copy and paste them all around the map easily or share them with your friends and the community. I'm going to be using the Rust Map Making Discord as an example. The link will be in the description. Go to Map Prefabs and here is a whole list of uh, custom prefabs that are made by people and um, you can just have a look at them if you like them download them just click on the prefab file we are going to be using the harbor 4 by reckless and he said that the harbor uh, is a harbor with ladder access to all towers cranes and buildings ramps added in a few spots and other goodies so he just made it more accessible for everybody which is interesting and i'm choosing this one because it actually has a red town built into it and as he says here, just place it, adjust the waterline, break it, and then apply the height mask. And this is what I will be showing you. Download it and go to the folder of your Rust Edit. So in the folder where you installed Rust Edit, there will be another folder called Custom Prefabs. Just open it up and put it into there. Then when you open up your prefab list and make sure you refresh it, it should pop up under Custom. If you then click on it, you will get the little preview and you can then like a normal prefab just drag it in and I'll roughly position it how I want it make sure the boats are in the water which seems to be good and then if you select the prefab you will see this break uh, prefab thingy come up when you break it, it will actually separate all the parts that make up the custom prefab and actually separate them again. So now when I click on the harbor, it will give me just the harbor. And if I move this away, you can see that this is all the custom stuff that um, Reckless has added. Also allows us with the harbor selected to now apply the height mask. And this will make sure that the floor of the level or of the world will align with the harbor so if you get a custom prefab and it has a red town or something that has height or topology assigned to it you can just break the prefab go to those custom individual parts of it select those and apply all the height mask all the textures the alpha and a topology and you could of course now also go into the individual parts and delete them if you don't like what he did or slightly adjust them whatever you want to do so next up i'll show you how to make your own custom prefabs um i'm not really going to be making anything i'm just going to show you how to save it as a custom prefab and how you could share it with your friends so i'm just going to go and get some water wells get one over here let's just do two different water wells so these two water wells is my crazy crazy created hours and hours custom prefab um and you now want to share this or you want to be able to take this and really easily uh spawn these around your map or put them around your map whatever you want to call them so i'm going to select either of whatever is in the custom prefab and click on create custom prefab this will get me a sphere and you will see that when I move the sphere, things that are inside the sphere will be read and selected. So we want to make sure that everything we want in the custom prefab to actually be read and selected. So if you do it like this, everything is inside the custom prefab sphere. And if you go outside, you see that everything is selected. I'm just making sure there's no rocks or nothing that I don't want to have selected with it. And then when everything is good, give it a name. So water wells and click save prefab and then if you go to custom prefabs it will be here so you can just drag it in and you can manipulate it as a single piece all together so now with two things this is not that interesting but when you build like a whole custom red town or custom house with 20 30 100 custom pieces you're going to be very happy to be able to just click on it and drag it around whatever you want to do with it and also if you for some reason still need to you can break the prefab and still individually move or edit all the parts so you don't really lose that uh, flexibility and if you then go back to your folder 
you can now see that it automatically is put here waterwells.prefab so you just take this file put it on discord give it a description put some screenshot with it if you're going to share it on the discord or something public or give this to your friend and that is how you would go about working with custom prefabs next the video next the video <laughs> the next video is going to be about um, caves so how to work with the normal caves and how to create your own custom caves and also how to make sure that if you create a custom cave and you put a red town under there that the loot actually spawns where you want it to spawn because it doesn't do that by default i hope this was helpful i hope you want to see me again in the next video give me a like subscribe thanks guys as always i'm out peace Thank you very much for watching. Click on the left thumbnail for my most recent upload or click on the right for a video that suits you best. As always, have a very nice day. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>